How's it going guys, Lucas here. Let me show you what's new in Splashy 4.3. This update is all about meshing. So you can see I got a little simulation here um, with some nice uh, drops and stuff. Um, I used Vellum for this one. It's a very simple simulation, nothing too fancy. Uh, but you can see collision working great. Um, Viscosity is working great as well. And I wanted to show you the three new meshing algorithms we have going on right now. So I just activate Quick Mesh. And you can see I can go down here now. And in the meshing tab, you will find Subtract, subtract Collision Mesh. The bubble threshold that we had before which is just controlling how many bubbles you want inside your mesh um you have to activate bubbles at the top you can do it that one after sim though uh, it's not necessary to do it before but just keep in mind you have to activate it so let me guide you through those options first one is subtract collision mesh you can see by default the mesh is colliding or intersecting the collision object actually it's not a is not an issue if you far away but if you have a close-up shot it can become an issue for sure so now you have the checkbox to subtract the collision mesh from your fluid mesh so if you click that you can see it's perfectly subtracted now you have a tiny bit on the edges um, but that highly depends on um, the resolution of your simulation so if you go higher this one will be more accurate as well as well next we have the flicker free options which are basically three different algorithms of meshing so you have the standard standard one which is already quite decent and shouldn't flicker as much then we have a double position blend um, which takes two frames before and two frames after sim and tries to merge the position in between you can see the mesh is changing a tiny bit between standard and double position blend um, but you also see it's getting smoother and this one should avoid flickering like on edges and stuff like that and then we have the third option which is Q-Mesh Depost Blend which is pretty much a mixture of um, a Q-Mesh and then the same method we had above. You can see the mesh is going to get a bit thinner and a bit smoother and it's going to lose detail. Um, but there, there are going to be situations where you want this effect. You can see everything is way smoother. Like, for example, this hole here um, is way more round. This one is actually closed um, and the drops look uh, way cleaner as well. This is for very hardcore stuff if you want to like glaze a cake maybe or something like that. Um, that, that will be the option to go. And then we have sort of a bonus. I uh, actually tried to clean up everything as good as possible and labeled everything so for all of you that want to dive inside and see how things are built up um, should be more easy to understand maybe um, and easier to change stuff if you need to cool that's pretty much it for splashy 3.4 as always please let me know if you find any bugs uh, please send me all your feature requests and just have fun using it bye